Patrick. This is as good as it's going to get. I love that. Yeah. It's Michael Vick, free agent quarterback, joining us. How tough was it to tell your children that they couldn't have a dog? Well, it's always tough when, you know, you have kids that can't really comprehend or understand, you know, what's taking place in, in, in their life, and they have wants and, and things that, you know, they, you know, they desire to have. And, you know, when it's out of their control or out of your control, I and mean, then it gets frustrating. He's Dave Zirin, the uh, sports editor of The Nation. Your reaction to Michael Jordan's statements yesterday and his uh, donations? It's amazing. Someone writes a $2 million check because they want the world to be a better place and they want to put their money where their mouth is. Good for them. But when I hear people say things like, Michael Jordan is breaking his political silence, as if this is Michael Jordan's version of Muhammad Ali standing up against the war in Vietnam. I mean, this is just a different category of action. It's sort of like like getting a wonderful plate of fish and being like, this is the best steak I ever had. Ryan Seacrest joins us now. If you could date a Kardashian, which one would you date? It's a great question. They're all single. I'll, all, tell you, I'll tell you it's, it's not, not Rob. It would have to be between Kim, Chloe, or Courtney. I would date Chloe. Because... She's going to be fun. I'm going to have a wild ride while I'm there, you know, until their mom kicks me out. Matt Damon joins us now. We were also wondering what sports you played in high school. Um, I am in the first class to letter. I got a varsity letter in theater. That's true. That's literally true. Can you enhance your resume as Jason Bourne? Yeah, no, I think it's more likely that he's uh, he's got MMA on his resume. Something like that. We're talking to Mike Bianca. I felt bad for this guy. You know who you own. You, you, you can tell me. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. His Hall of Fame pitcher. Is Pedro. Well, Pedro's there, but poor Tom Glavin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy couldn't. Uh, yeah, I did bang him. <laughs> it's pretty good. This sexy show with Stan Patrick. This is as good as it's going to get. I love that. Yeah. The Dan Patrick Show. Weekday mornings on Audience.